How y'all doing? I just want to stop in and let you know that we hit our 1,000th subscriber there on YouTube. Uh, a guy named, uh, it was a weird guy in the park. A weird guy in the park came by and subscribed to our channel. And he's the guy that put us over 1,000, and I want to give him a big shout out and a big thank you. We actually went up to 102, I mean 1,002. A couple more people came in right after you. And uh, now we're at 1,002. So we're marching on. And that's good because we need to keep this message going. I started doing this because I can't get out there to go protest up in Washington or anywhere up in Austin where, where my state is. So I decided to start doing this rant. And I was motivated because I saw all the people in the street holding signs that I like to read and making me proud that they're out there standing up for our country. We made a mistake and got this guy in this house and we all want him out and the whole world is responding to him. This man won't stand in our house and it's up to us to keep this thing going. I got one little old voice here. I don't know. It seems to be going pretty good. But let's keep it going in everybody's voice. We're going to do some things to get you all involved more with, uh, more with this so we can lift it up even higher. Because our job here is to lift our country up. To help everybody organize, write, call, whatever we have to do. To keep active, stay supportive with each other, stay out in the street. And the more there are of us, the bigger chance. We did this with Nixon. We rose up in the street when I was a kid. And they got him out. Because the people spoke. And after a while, if the people spoke, speak enough, all those congressmen and all those senators, they don't have a choice because those are the people that vote for them and keep them in office. And if those people aren't happy, they're going to go. So let's stay active and stay strong. Y'all take care. And I reckon I'll see y'all later. How y'all doing? Friday. We like Fridays. They're right next to Saturday. So everybody gets off this afternoon and gets to start their weekend. We're happy with that. Mia Farrow. My, Mia Farrow. My affair. I love that name. My affair. Number four of four. Okay, even got uh, got Obama over here. He's doing a little surveillance on that door over there. In case anybody sneaks in, he'll let me know. But I appreciate the shirts very much. It got us all the way through the week. Uh, went to the post office box. Didn't have one this morning. Darn it. So y'all remember, if y'all want to send me a shirt, send me a shirt. Not, I'm going to have to go back to recycling my old shirts, and that's okay, too. Anyway, a lot going on. We fired missiles into Syria. Took out an airfield. Well, that's the first action we've taken against Syria. So, that's a good message. That's a good message. How it was delivered, there are so many questions in my head. Biggest being is, why would you call the Russians hours before the attack? to give them time to move their equipment, to move their planes out of there and give you an empty field to shoot at. I don't know why you did that. The object should have been to take out those airplanes and the airfield. I think you hit the airfield though. She's put a big hole in that runway so they're going to have to repair that. Those planes went somewhere else and those planes should have been there and we should have taken them out. So there's a there's a question there why you did that. I know we're deep into this Russia stuff. There's ties between Russia and Trump, and we know it, and it's all over the news. There's investigations going on on every side in the Russia thing. So we know that. So why would Trump call Putin and tell him to move his shit unless it's just an act? I don't like acts. A, a play put on for our entertainment. I don't want that. I don't want that. That's not the reasons. We have reasons. You need to stand up and say what they are. This is a whole big triangle, folks. You know that Putin, he supports Trump in that election. We know that. He did not want Hillary because she scares him. Hillary would stand up to his ass, and he knew it. She was highly involved in trying to get a uh, little disturbance caused for him over in Russia with the uh, free elections and stuff back then. So he don't like her. He liked Trump. So we know that. Trump and Putin 
They're buddies, I guess. Putin and Assad are buddies. So this makes up for strange bedfellows. You know, you got Putin on both sides of this fence, supporting Assad and supporting Trump. I don't like that game. I don't like it one bit at all. Sure is, looks funny. It looks funny. Are you shitting me? It just looks stinks. I don't want to be playing games with our men and women in uniform. It's, this is not a game. Assad should have been taken out years ago. I wished Obama would have done it, but Obama went to Congress, and Congress said no. Every one of them, from Rand Paul to Marco Rubio, they all said no, we'll stay out of it. Well, Trump didn't go to Congress, because he figured he didn't have to. Because them guys are all on his side, he's got the majority, what are they going to say? Trump's down at a 34% approval rating. You want to make odds his approval rating goes up after this? I don't want to be playing politics with our kids' uniform. I just don't. That's bullshit. And I'm not positive it's going on. I don't want to sit here and tell you I know exactly what's going on. I'm just like y'all out there. There's a lot to take in on this shit. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be smelled real good. And it's being investigated. Right before I walked out, the Pentagon was giving a briefing there a little bit one of the reporters there, and they were discussing the fact of the plane that came along and dropped the bomb, not the chemical bomb, the chemical bomb went off, those people are all rushed to the hospital. Right after that, there comes a Russian flurry, plane, a Russian aircraft, we don't know who's flying it now, can't say it was a Russian pilot, it was a Russian aircraft, dropped a bomb on that hospital. You know why? maximize death and hide any evidence that might be there. Now, that's been done before over there. Anybody who's taken the time to watch that documentary, The White Helmets, that's what they do over there. They go in with an attack and when the White Helmets run in there to save people and try to get them out and get them to a hospital, well here comes a helicopter and kicks out a barrel bomb right on the hospital. That's what's been going on. So it's not new it just happened again. But this time they got a signature of the aircraft and it was a Russian aircraft that dropped the bomb on the hospital. So that's a damn good question why. There's a lot to take in. And I'm not giving up on this shit. I'll be on this stuff for days before I, I'm happy with what I know. Just like y'all out there, we got a lot to look at. We all wonder this shit. But there's a lot we need to know and a lot we need to keep our eyes on. And that's pisses me off all the time that's all this shit's been going on and and all the talk about holding refugees out of here refugees those would have been them little ones that you seen dying up there from that gas refugees people that we could help and they still need help because that whole area over there is shit and we're turning our back on the ones that need the help because we're afraid a bad guy might sneak in and one might but at what cost are we giving that up for? Somebody at Thomas Jefferson or Ben Franklin, and I really don't know, it's not written down here, said that something to the effect that those willing to give up security for freedom deserve neither. Or freedom for security, I'm sorry. If we're willing to give up freedom for security, then we don't deserve either one. I mean, we can't turn our backs on refugees. We just can't do it. It's not us. But... Trump wants his ban, so we'll see. We're going to keep an eye on this shit, and I'll, we'll talk more about it later. And, and there it goes again. It keeps telling me it has a storage problem. I keep shaking it to see if anything comes out. Nothing comes out. No, I've just about stripped it. I don't know what that thing's doing anymore. Anyway, we'll just do them in two parts if we have to. Anyway, we were just finishing up there with the three musketeers, Trump, Putin and Assad, so we're going to keep an eye on that shit, and I need to learn more, uh, a lot more, because we all do, we need to keep in, in, in tune with that, but moving on, I don't want to miss out on, on, on sharing this little bit of business with you for a good laugh, uh, I want to talk about the state senator from Pennsylvania, Scott Wagner, 
Now, this is kind of funny. I thought, here we go. You want to see the mentality of some of these people? He said, talking about climate change now. We're talking about the earth getting a little warmer here. And this guy claims that, you know, it, the earth is getting more populated. There's more people on earth. And people put off body temperature. You know, 98.6 degrees. That's us. We're putting off more heat. And there's more people, so that's why the earth is getting warmer. And it ain't because of uh, pollution or anything like that. Oh, yeah, and he also says that the earth is getting closer to the sun. Jesus, I ain't heard no scientists say that. I'm glad you let us know. How much time we got before we hit the damn thing? You moron. I just thought, look at this shit. This guy's going to stand up there in front of his committee or whatever and tell us that the reason the earth is getting warmer is because there's more people in the body he's getting... Are you shitting me? Did you go to school before you became a state senator? I'm just wondering. Did you get one of them high school diplomas? You know, where they teach science class? Would you pick that out of the Bible or something? I don't know where you got that from. Anyway, I just thought that was just a little funny thing I wanted to throw out there. Because it shows the ignorance of some people. But it's not just there. It's everywhere. Another little bit of piece of news I wanted to talk about was Twitter. Now, y'all know I just got involved with Twitter. Just I'm a little late on everything, I guess. Anyway, I've been tweeting him, getting to my voice heard up there, calling him a butt every time I get a chance. Anyway, evidently, the Trump wants to know the names of some of them Twitter people so he can, I don't know, attack them or whatever, sue them or whatever. But Twitter filed a suit against it, trying to keep their names private, as well they should. But that's probably getting into all that. We're going to sell every information we got anyway. That's what the Republicans want to do because it's all about the money, your name, your food, the oil you put in your car. Everything is about the money. From our health care to everything is about the money. And I'm afraid this shit over in the Middle East is about money. All of it is about money. But anyway... Wanted to get those two little things out there that I've found in the news that I just went, are you shitting me? Anyway, and y'all remember that. That are you shitting me can be used as a definitive statement or in the form of a question. So y'all remember that. Now in the comments yesterday, there's an old boy that sent me a video. His name was Caleb Erickson. He's in the U.S. Air Force, currently in active duty. Fixing to get out. He's, he's from Texas. Well, good. We, we need more Texans down here. Anyway, he said he wanted to meet me. And I would be more than honored to meet with you, sir. Uh, give me a, uh, write me a message or something. Anyway, I just, it warmed my heart when I saw his message. And uh, just makes me feel proud, as we all should, when, when somebody, y'all have all, I was talking to Esther Ramirez yesterday on uh, Messenger. And I was looking at her Facebook page while I was waiting on the next minute. Anyway, I noticed she had a parrot. Pretty parrot. Uh, darn it, I forgot the parrot's name. It's a girl. Forgot the parrot's name. Anyway, I, are you shitting me? I got a parrot. His name is Fred. He's about 50 years old. And all the time he asks me, do I want a margarita? And I keep looking at him. And he ain't got one in his hand. So I don't know why he's asking. But he sings a song in Spanish that I love. And it's something about a, a broken love. But I... It's about all I could pick out of it, but he sounds real pretty. But it's just one of those little connections between people. You know, and, and I like to see that. I like to see the the uh, conversations go on. Uh, Elia Esponza, I think. God, I sure broke down her name. She stays active. She's always on our comments. Barbara Harwell up in Fort Worth, well, she wrote a song. She's up there looking for a... Somebody to do vocals, evidently she did the music. I'm tickled and waiting. To, it's going to be called Rays of Hope, and she's going to dedicate it to me. I'm tickled to death. I'm telling you, people, it just, the people that I've made contact with, the people I get to talk to, and, and if I haven't got to you yet, I'm trying to. There's a lot of y'all have warmed my heart, my take on religion. When I said that my river, Samota out of uh, Mississippi or Alabama, Mississippi, I think, Forgive me, dear, y'all. Well, the ones that told me that your little boy asked you why you were on church on Sunday and that your daddy told him 
son, we're out here on the water in the boat with the family. That is our church. And bless him for that because that's what I think too. Get out there and commune with a little nature. If you want to talk to God, well, I guess he's up there listening. You ain't got to be in a building to do it. So if that's your thing, get outside. Enjoy what he gave you. And we all should. But those are some of the people that, that I talk to. And I, I just keep, I want to make my whole board just a list of names up there. So I can read them off because these people are just, they impact my life so much. I had a conversation last night with a guy in, in Florida, Hal. And he's, he's wanting to help us in ways just, man, I'm telling you. I wish I could just say everything I, I, I want to say. The, the guy that runs my fan page, Don, is doing it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I talked to him on the phone, and we were trying to bounce around an idea of uh, doing a live radio show. Call in. Here. We provide you with a phone number, and you get to call in, and, oh, lucky you, you get to talk to me. Ain't that something? But anyway, we have a lot of things going. Patreon page went real well. People signed up. We're going to get that money going to get t-shirts and stuff like that. Like, shot, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, A Blue Dot in Texas. And uh, we're going to get this locomotive going, baby. We're, we're rolling more and more. People are getting in. We're expanding, and the more we expand, the more we get our message out. I want to hurry up before this stupid thing runs out. I think I got it timed to somewhere around eight or nine minutes. She'll quit on me. But let's all stay involved. Stay in the street. We have to. We have to. 2018's coming. If we don't get him in peace before then, we need to take back the House and the Senate in the midterms because it's going to impact everything we do. Gorsuch, he's on the Supreme Court now. Confirmed this morning. That's it. That ball game's over. All we can do is pray that Ruth Ginsburg lives another hundred years, darling. She can have anything I want to keep her alive. Anyway, let's all try to enjoy the weekend. And, you know, all this stuff going on with old hippies like us. You know, it, there's an old boy that, that said that, uh, that not until the power of love overcomes the love of power. It's the only time we're going to ever have peace. Jimi Hendrix said that. I don't have to have that written down. That's another one of them things that's stuck in my head. Only when love overcomes power instead of the love of power will we ever have peace. So let's hope for that. The only thing we want in this world is peace for us and our kids and for everybody around the world. So let's keep working on that on our side because that's what we believe in. Y'all have a good day, and we'll see you on Saturday.